Well, while I'm recharging the really high current lithium pack in this battery pack in a completely non-compliant manner, simply by ramming uh, leads out of my uh, bench power supply up the end of its connector, while that's cooking, and this is not a recommended way of doing it because this does not in any way offer balancing of the cells, it, it means that if one of the cells is lower capacity, it could get charged to a higher voltage, but I'll keep an eye on that. Famous last words. But in the meantime, let's look at something somewhat less dangerous. And what I'm looking at here is a string of LED fair lights, which came from a seller called... Oh, that's reasonable enough. Bobo Way to Way. Bobo Way to Way. Um, and this one is described as USB powered 20 LED fair string light lamp Christmas for laptop PC, 7 foot 2 meter plus 30 centimeter cable. Okay. And it's basically, it's 20 LEDs on a string. And it's designed to plug straight into the USB power supply. And I have to say, I originally thought, I bet there's no resistor. I bet it just plugs in and it's super high current. And worse still, when it arrived, I was looking at it and I was expecting a little resistor to be tucked into the first LED here before going out to the other connections, but there wasn't. And I tested it and the current is low. It's 20 milliamps, but it still looks very nice. I'm not sure even how it's going to show up on camera. They're lit. Uh, yep, yeah, they're lit quite acceptably. Um, you know, it's a nice colour. Uh, I should say it's nice intensity. It's all phosphor colours. The, the blue chips are blue chip, but the green, yellow and the red are all uh, phosphor with the sort of blue uh, stimulating the phosphors. So the yellow is that classic sort of washed out lemony yellow look and the, the red is quite a distinctive sort of richer red than normal. And the interesting thing about this is that there is a resistor and it's built into the actual plug here. And if I uh, plug this in here, this little test lead, and I bring in a meter and turn it to 200 ohms range and then stick it in one of the leads. Let's, I think it's the black lead. Let's stick it in the black lead. Find the last LED in the string and... The way they make these strings, they're a continuous, they're just a continuous string, they cut it down to length, so you usually get the end. Uh, where it's looping out, they just cut it short. So if I stick that in there, I'll either get nothing, or I'll either get a dead short, or I'll get the 100 ohms. 100 ohms. And that did tally up. Uh, I did the maths initially, and... Uh, worked it out from the current and the expected voltage drop across the resistor. And 100 ohms is an interesting value because it means that these LEDs, they literally just draw about 20 milliamps. And if you're running them on a modest power bank, then they will run for days on a power bank continually, which is good. And the intensity will stay the same. Now, there's two types of the power bank. There are type that uh, do not have proper cell protection. And when it gets to the end of the capacity of the cell and it drops about 3 volts, all they'll do is they'll stop boosting up to 5 volts. And with those ones, it's not a good idea because if you do connect to set these lights onto a power bank, and at the end of life, instead of just decisively going out like they should do, they actually step down in brightness. That means they're still drawing current. will actually drag the lithium cell down to 2.5 volts or below, depending on the LEDs. So the best type are the one that ones that uh, properly disconnect the cell. So you run the LEDs and at the end of the uh, charge, the cell capacity, they just cut out decisively. But yeah, you know, it's a simple little thing. It's just a string of 20 LEDs that you can get in various colours with a USB plug and it draws such a low current that you're going to get a huge long run time from a power bank or, or your laptop. It's not going to harm the output of your laptop at all unless there's any sort of weird wiring fault. Um, yeah, they're quite neat. I do actually quite like those.